weight related problems hey kids in this video we will learn about measuring items with weighing scale and adding different weighing stones to measure the weight today gopal and his daughter neetu are going to sell junk at birju uncle's shop on seeing gopal and neetu birju uncle gets happy oh nice gopal bhaiya today you have brought our daughter with you yes uncle nowadays she is helping me a lot with my work wow this is a good thing well say what have you brought today uncle here is some newspapers some old books and some cans of bottles give it to me let me weigh them hey why is neetu looking here and there she is looking a bit shocked too what happened neetu what are you looking for how will birju uncle weigh all this he doesn't even have a weighing machine oh child you are so intelligent yes i don't have any machine but i will weigh without it how come uncle look this is known as weighing scale yes kid we can also measure with the help of weighing scale uncle please show me how to do this but uncle i have some other works in the market too never mind bhaiya you finish your work let her stay with me i will teach her how to use it uncle uncle how can we measure with this it has no needle to point at numbers yes not a pointer like that but we do have a small needle along with these two plates look here right now both of these plates are empty and the needle is facing towards the center which means the needle is balanced because both the plates are of equal weight we use weighing stones to measure weight in a weighing scale weighing stones what are this look these are weighing stones Oh my god how many are this and look this one is so big Yes this is the biggest weighing stone i have look how much is written on it 100 kg Yes it means this weighing stone weighs 100 kg Now check out other weighing stones and tell me their weights hmm apart from 100 kg we have 50 20 10 5 2 and 1 kg oh we have weighing stones smaller than 1 kg too yes these are stones weighing in grams look 500 grams 200 grams 100 grams and 50 grams these are weighing stones which weigh less than this too but i don't use them okay uncle how do we measure weight with the help of these i will show you let's weigh the newspaper you have brought can you guess how much it will weigh Uncle it was quite heavy i couldn't even lift it it must be around 10 kg Okay let's weigh this with the weighing stone of 10 kg for measuring weight we will place the item to be weighed on one side and will keep on putting weighing stones on the other until the needle points at the center or get balanced Look the side carrying 10 kg weighing stone moved downwards 
while the side carrying the newspapers moved upwards. This means the weight of the newspaper is less than 10 kgs. Mm, uncle, what should we do now? We will put stone which weighs less than 10 kgs. So can you tell me which weighing stone is smaller than 10 kgs? 5 kgs. Let's place this. Uncle, now the side carrying the newspaper has moved downwards. Which means? This means that the weight of the newspaper is more than 5 kgs. Yes. So what should we do now? I don't know, Uncle. We don't have any stone which weighs more than 5 kgs and less than 10 kgs. Now we will add smaller weighing stones to this. Let's check by adding weighing stone of 2 kgs. Yes. Oh look, this side carrying weighing stones has moved downwards. Means the weight of the newspapers is less than 5 plus 2, mm, 7 kgs. Yes. Now let's replace the 2 kg weighing stone by 1. Uncle, look! Now the sides are balanced and the needle also points at the center. That means the weight of the newspapers is... 5 and 1 means 6 kilograms. Very good. Now weigh these books on your own. These are not that heavy. Okay, uncle. See, I have placed the books on this side. Mm, let's place weighing stone of 2 kgs first. Oh, this is still on the upper side. Means I have to add some more weighing stones. Let's add one more stone of 1 kg to it. Means now it becomes 2 and 1, mm, 3 kgs. Oh wow, this is balanced now. This means the weight of the books is 3 kgs. Look, your father has also come. So uncle, did she disturb you? No, no, she is a very sweet child. Dad, I have learned how to measure weight using stones and weighing scale. Look, this books weigh 3 kgs. Very good, Neetu. In this video, we have learned about measuring items with weighing scale and adding different weighing stones to measure the weight. Weight related problems, common mistakes. Hey kids, in this video, we will learn about some common mistakes while measuring weight using the weighing scale. Come, let's see what Neetu is doing today. She has put some stones on the weighing scale and is looking a bit worried. Birju uncle is looking at her. Hey kid, what happened? What are you doing? Uncle, see, I'm placing the weighing stones on both the sides. Still, the needle is not getting balanced. This is because weight on both the sides is different. No, Uncle, look. This is of 1 kg and this is of 100 grams. Both are equal, right? Okay, Neetu. Try to lift both of them. While doing this, don't you feel the weight is different? Yes, uncle, you are right. I haven't thought about this. But how is this possible? Because you are forgetting that 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams, not 100 grams. Oh, yes, uncle. How did I forget this? 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams, not 100 grams. 
Right. Now place some more weight on the side carrying 100 grams so that it becomes equal to 1000 grams and the scale gets balanced. Okay uncle, to this 100 grams I am adding 500 grams, then 200 grams, then 100 grams and the last two stones of 50 grams each. Yes, now the total is 1000 grams. Look uncle, the scale is now balanced. Very good. So kids, now you understood. 1 kg is not equal to 100 grams. Instead, it is equal to 1000 grams. Oh look, Birju uncle is asking something from Neetu. Neetu, if I place a 1 kg stone one side and a 2 kg stone on another side, can you tell me which side of the weighing scale will move upwards? This side carrying 2 kgs. How come? Because this side carrying 2 kgs is heavier than the other. Yes, child. The side carrying 2 kgs is more heavy than the side carrying 1 kg. But don't forget, the heavier side always moves down. Uncle, I have not understood this. Okay, I will teach you. Remember, when you swing in the seesaw with charm, he automatically moves downwards and you move upwards, right? Yes, uncle, because Sham is heavier than me. That's why he moves downwards. Yes, absolutely right. In the similar way, in this weighing scale, the side carrying more weight moves downwards, while the side carrying less weight moves upwards. Because it is lighter than the other. Yes, uncle, I have understood. The side having more weight will move downwards. This means in this case of 1 kg and 2 kg weighing stones, the side carrying 1 kg will move upwards because it is lighter than the other. Exactly. Now you have learnt it properly. So kids, have you understood? In weighing scale, heavier weight moves downwards and lighter weight moves upwards. In this video, we have learnt about some common mistakes while measuring weight using the weighing scale.